Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a reading for Leo, you versus them. Um, let's see, April 30th to May 1st. Yeah, April, May, yeah. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And then we do have Pluto in retrograde, um, as well as an eclipse happening on the 29th and the 30th. I'm not sure which day is, um, like what falls on what, but, uh, that's going to be doing like another little awakening. Pluto also rules the planet of death, transformation, and childhood traumas. So it's like if anyone was having issues with those things, um, or dealing with someone that was having problems with that. Uh, those things could be clearing up for you guys. But, alright. So, Leo, you versus them. April 30th to May 1st, 2022. April 30th to May 1st, 2022. Well, it's looking like you're going to get good news about a relationship. The lovers with the page of wands. Um, someone could also be messaging you. And it's because they haven't quite forgot about this connection. Uh, you can have a lot of, like, options, uh, but it's not the world card. It's kind of like as if you don't really um, have anyone that you do like yet. Three of Wands. Uh, you could be just kind of waiting for these this other person to change. That's more what you're doing. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. But it's kind of like at the same time you want to move on. On your person side, Eight of Swords. Five of Cups. Yeah, it's looking like um, they can't forget about you either. They can't stop thinking about, you know, if I did this, maybe it would have turned out like this. Or if I did this, uh, this it would have turned out differently like this. Um, I feel like you're overall happy. And you're planning, you know, things in your life to be happy. But you find yourself constantly waiting for this person. Uh, I feel like you do love yourself. Um... You know, I'm not seeing anything that you don't. So, you know, it's just not bad cards. It's kind of like, yeah, you do. You are focused on you, but you still think about them. And this person, especially with the Hermit card here, um, underneath the Eight of Swords, again, they can't stop thinking about you. I don't really feel like they're trying to date anyone or put themselves out there. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Libra. Um, it's just kind of like, I feel like they're just throwing themselves a pity party like if i did it this way maybe things would have turned out like this or if i did it this way um things would be like this right now but i feel like they're exactly where they're supposed to be you know everything really did happen for a reason um i'll double check with this deck but is there anything else that needs clarifying other than are they going to come in to fix things? Leo's person, April 30th to May 1st. Yeah, I feel like as more time passes by, you're kind of over the past. You're over everything that happened. You kind of just don't care about it anymore. Um, I feel like if this person, if it's like a financial thing, if they paid you back, you know, things would move forward. It's also like if you're used to this person being broke and struggling... If this person was working, well, then you guys could pretty much move forward. Um, but I feel like you're just, in the meantime, trying to invest in your future. Make decisions that will uh, be abundant for you later on. Like, you may not be able to see uh, the benefits of these things right now that you're deciding. But later on, you will. And it's like, in this meantime, you're just taking care of what you're supposed to. And you know, eventually, things will smooth out between you two. Yeah, King of Cups over the Justice card. You know, they really do love you. Um, I feel like this person is kind of determined to come in and fix things. Whenever they're done throwing themselves a pity party. It's just looking like they're spying on you. Not really doing anything. With the Eight of Cups, Leo. April 30th and May 1st. April 30th to May 1st. 2022 with the five of cups and the hermit some of you guys could be dealing with a virgo um ten of cups upside down 
I feel like this person realizes that they're at peace when they're with you. Um, they just kind of had to lose you to recognize that at first. Nine of Wands. And this person is just kind of afraid to approach you right now. Uh, we do have the Four of Wands, Four of Cups. So again, things are kind of stagnant. And I feel like this person could be working on saving up money. Even you are. Um, I feel like balance is happening financially. But with the Four of Wands, some of you guys are dealing with like a twin flame. Uh, someone you wanted to be long term with. What's the Eight of Swords and the Hermit? The Eight of Swords. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the World card. It's the way that you are, um, the way that you treat this person that, you know, it's like they don't want to fight with you. They just want another chance. Uh, Six of Cups on top of the TikTok. I feel like... This is someone from the past that you have been waiting for um, to contact you or vice versa. They've been waiting for you to contact them. Uh, we have the lovers, knight, knight of swords, and the page of wands. So, yeah, someone is going to be getting a message very soon. I just feel like right now it's kind of at a standstill. Um, you know, it's like you're kind of waiting, but you're still focused on your own life. Meanwhile, this person, it's like reality is hitting them that if they did things differently things would be different um so it's like tough lessons were learned here could be about commitment or just in this time that you guys are apart with the hierophant some of you guys could be dealing with a taurus um just about you know ego you guys are both realizing the truth about ego um the more you guys are not doing anything in the center the more you guys are both like just working on yourselves doing introspection and healing you know, I feel like this person is just realizing, you know, just I could have done things different. Neo, you versus them. April 29th. No, April 30th to May 1st, 2022. I'm not shuffle. April 30th to May 1st, 2022. So it's looking like um this person, you know, they're trying to stay busy. Um, some of you guys, they want to take care of you. They, they're judging themselves right now, um, for everything that they did to you. Again, I feel like this person is realizing a lot that they could have done things different. So April 30th to May 1st, Leo, you versus them. On their side, we have toil and labor, main female. So, it's like they're working, they're willing to put the work in for this connection, marriage, for you guys to have something more stable, to have something strong. Uh, I feel like with the change card and the Ace of Swords, you know, it's just both of you guys know the truth about everything, and that's kind of why this whole situation is changing, family room. Um, I feel like there's just, you guys have to have some sort of, I'm just checking for any else, any other cards that might have fallen. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you guys just have to have the important conversations with family room here. Um, that way things could change and move forward. I feel like things are changing even if you guys do not have the important conversations. Uh, you guys will become like something stronger and more stable. But it's just, um, you guys are not talking about it right now. You know, like this person, you know, they want to put the work in for you. Um, if this person was someone that kind of lived off you back then, I feel like they're not going to be getting a job. You know, they're going to be, it's going to be getting more stable. They're not going to be living off you. I just feel like this person learned the hard way about commitment. Ace of Pentacles, um, the Ace of Swords, uh, the Five of Wands upside down. This person doesn't want to fight with you. You know, it, they don't really like arguing. It's just more like... They can't stop thinking about you. Um, they do care a lot about you. And that's why they want to make things better. Um, it's like you're making them get their crap together. Again, if finances was the thing. If it was just money, that was a problem. So, again, with the Four of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Four of Wands, four, 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 that means divinely guided and protected. So, you guys are exactly where you're supposed to be. It's just like this person had to learn the hard way about cycles and patterns. Or about some things take time. Any messages with this deck? Leo. April 30th to May 1st, 2022. 
Leo, you versus them April 30th to May 1st. So no place like home. I feel like you guys are each other's comfort zones. This is comfortable for both of you guys. Um, this is something you guys both love. It's helping each other out. And then we also have here deep knowing on four of swords. So you guys know right now things could be at a standstill. But it's because uh, both of you guys are working on being at peace. On just being cool with everything that happened back then. Uh, it does feel like it was a past person. Poised new life. So this could be very scary for this person here. Uh, to like be living on a whole new way of living. They're probably not used to being in a relationship. Doing things the right way. Uh, being more spiritual. More morally intact. These are things that you could be not really used to. Or they're not really used to. And it's like once they come with you. Um, everything's going to change. It's going to be a whole new different way of living together or separately uh but all right guys much love please take care of yourselves and i'll be talking to you guys later thank you namaste bye